a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Richard Dreyfus. Richard Stephen Dreyfus is an American actor best known for starring in popular films during the 1970s through 1990s, including American Graffiti, Jaws, Stand By Me, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Down and Out in Beverly Hills, The Goodbye Girl, Always, and Mr. Holland's Opus. Dreyfus won the Academy Award for Best Actor in 1977 for The Goodbye Girl, and was nominated in 1995 for Mr. Holland's Opus. He has also won a Golden Globe Award, a BAFTA Award, and was nominated in 2002 for Screen Actors Guild Awards in the Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Drama Series and Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Television Movie or Miniseries categories. Early Life Dreyfus was born in Brooklyn, New York, the son of Geraldine Dreyfus, a peace activist, and Norman Dreyfus, an attorney and restaurateur, and was raised in the Bayside area of Queens, New York. His family is Jewish. He has commented that he grew up thinking that Alfred Dreyfus and he are from the same family. His father disliked New York and moved the family first to Europe and later to Los Angeles, California, when Dreyfus was nine. Dreyfus attended Beverly Hills High School. Career Dreyfus began acting in his youth, at Temple Emanuel of Beverly Hills Arts Center and Westside Jewish Community Center, under drama teacher Bill Miller. He debuted in the TV production in Mama's House, when he was 15. He attended San Fernando Valley State College, now California State University, Northridge, for a year and was a conscientious objector during the Vietnam War, working in alternate service for two years as a clerk in a Los Angeles hospital. During this time, he acted in a few small TV roles on shows such as Peyton Place, Gidget, That Girl, Gunsmoke, Bewitched, The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, and The Big Valley. During the late 1960s and early 1970s, he also performed on stage on Broadway, Off-Broadway, Repertory, and Improvisational Theater. Dreyfus appeared in the play The Time of Your Life, which was revived on March 17, 1972 at the Huntington Hartford Theatre in Los Angeles, and directed by Edwin Sharon. Dreyfus' first film role was a small, uncredited appearance in The Graduate. He had one line, Shall I get the cops? I'll get the cops. He was also briefly seen as a stage hand in Valley of the Dolls, in which he had a few lines. In 1973 he starred in the CBS pilot Catch-22. He appeared in the subsequent Dillinger, and landed a role in the 1973 hit American Graffiti, acting with other future stars such as Harrison Ford and Ron Howard. Dreyfus played his first lead role in the Canadian film The Apprenticeship of Duddy Kravitz, receiving positive reviews, including praise from Pauline Gale. Dreyfus went on to star in the box office blockbusters Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, both directed by Steven Spielberg. He won the 1978 Academy Award for Best Actor at the 50th Academy Awards Ceremony for his portrayal of a struggling actor in The Goodbye Girl, becoming the youngest actor to do so, besting Marlon Brando, who had won his first Oscar in 1955 at the age of 30 years 360 days old. This record stood for 25 years until it was broken in 2003 by Adrian Brody, who was three weeks shy of age 30 at the time of the 75th Academy Awards ceremony. Around 1978, Dreyfus began using cocaine frequently. His addiction came to a head four years later in 1982, when he was arrested for possession of the drug after he blacked out while driving, and his Mercedes-Benz 450SL struck a tree. He entered rehabilitation and eventually made a Hollywood comeback with the films Down and Out in Beverly Hills in 1986 and Stakeout the following year. Dreyfus also starred in the Rob Reiner movie Stand By Me, a 1986 coming-of-age drama-slash-comedy film adapted from Stephen King's novella The Body. Dreyfus plays the elder Gordy Lachance, who narrates the film. In 1988, he reunited with director Paul Mazursky to star in the political farce Moon over Parador. In 1989, Dreyfus reunited with Spielberg on Always, a remake of A Guy Named Joe in which he co-starred with Holly Hunter. He had a starring role opposite Bill Murray in the 1991 comedy What About Bob? As a psychiatrist who goes crazy while trying to cope with a particularly obsessive new patient. 
That same year, Dreyfus produced and starred as George's pick court in Prisoner of Honor, an HBO movie about the historical Dreyfus affair. In 1994, he participated in the historic papal concert to commemorate the Shoah, at the Vatican in the presence of Pope John Paul II, Ravelio Toff, Chief Rabbi of Rome, and Oscar Luigi Scalfaro, President of the Italian Republic. He recited Kaddish as part of a performance of Leonard Bernstein's Third Symphony with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra under the baton of Gilbert Levine. The event was broadcast worldwide. Dreyfus was nominated for an Oscar and a Golden Globe for his performance as Glenn Holland in Mr. Holland's Opus. Since then, he has continued working in the movies, television, and the stage. In 2001-2002, he played Max Bickford in the television drama The Education of Max Bickford. In April 2004, he appeared in the revival of Sly Fox on Broadway. Dreyfus recorded the voiceover for the Apple computer, Think Different, ad campaign in 1997. In November 2004, he was scheduled to appear in The Producers in London, but withdrew from the production a week before opening night. The media noted that Dreyfus was still suffering from problems relating to an operation for a herniated disc in January and that the part of Max Beer was stock in the play is a physically demanding one. Both he and his assistant for the production stated that Dreyfus was accumulating injuries that required him to wear physical therapy supports during rehearsals. Dreyfus was eventually fired from the production, though he would return in 2008. In 2006, he appeared as one of the survivors in the film Poseidon. Dreyfus portrayed U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney in Oliver Stone's 2008 George W. Bush biopic W. In early 2009, he appeared in the play Complicit in London's Old Vic Theatre. His participation in the play was subject to much controversy, owing to his use of an earpiece on stage, reportedly, because of his inability to learn his lines in time. He guest voiced as himself in the Three Kings episode of Family Guy in 2009 and later appeared again in the episode, Peter Ismant. Dreyfus has guest starred in the sixth season of Weeds as Warren Schiff, Nancy's high school teacher to whom she had lost her virginity. Dreyfus has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard. Dreyfus was among 99 other stars at the 2012 Academy Awards Night of 100 Stars. He did an interview for The Bill Zucker Show with actor-slash-singer Bill Zucker. In 2014 he appeared, with best-selling Lincoln scholar Ronald C. White in a documentary entitled, Lincoln's Greatest Speech, highlighting Lincoln's second inaugural address, appearing as host of the program and reciting Lincoln's speech on camera. On February 18, 2015, it was announced that Dreyfus would portray Bernie Madoff in an upcoming miniseries. The first episode was telecast on February 3, 2016, co-starring Blythe Danner. The Dreyfus Civics Initiative Dreyfus seeks to revive civics education to teach future generations about the power of their citizenship, and the principles that hold America together. In 2006, he created the Dreyfus Civics Initiative. TDCI's mission is to revitalize and enhance the teaching of civics in American public education to empower future generations with the critical thinking skills needed to fulfill the vast potential of American citizenship. TDCI is a 5,013 designated organization, recognized as of 2008. Dreyfus has made numerous public appearances since the organization's founding to raise awareness to start discussion and dialogue regarding the need for increased civic education. On February 16, 2006, he spoke at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C., in hopes of prompting a national discussion on impeachment charges against U.S. President George W. Bush. On November 17, 2006, Dreyfus appeared on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher as a panel member to discuss teaching civics in schools. He formerly served on the Board of Trustees of the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia. In 2007, Dreyfus appeared in the youth voting documentary film 18 in 08. In 2014, Dreyfus appeared on Huckabee, hosted by former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee to discuss how civic education can create a stronger America and to ask viewers to sign the preamble to support the cause. Dreyfus was also an advisor to the Mr. Holland's Opus Foundation. Politics Dreyfus has been outspoken on the issue of how the media influences the shaping of public opinion, policy, and legislation. 
In the 2000s, he expressed his sentiments in favor of right to privacy, freedom of speech, democracy, and individual accountability. On set feuds Dreyfus has gotten into feuds with actors he has worked with, notably Robert Shaw and Bill Murray. He also did not get along with director Oliver Stone during the filming of WN referred to him as a fascist. Personal life Dreyfus married writer and producer Jeremy Rain in the early 1980s. With her, he had three children, Emily, Benjamin, and Harry. His elder son, Benjamin, was born with Peter's anomaly, a rare genetic eye disorder which, after many operations, left him blind in his left eye. Dreyfus and Rain have continued to raise money for ophthalmology centers throughout the United States. After his 1995 divorce from Rain, Dreyfus married Jenna Lacey in 1999, but they divorced in 2005. In 2006, Dreyfus discussed his diagnosis of bipolar disorder in the documentary Stephen Fry, The Secret Life of the Manic Depressive, in which Fry interviewed Dreyfus about his experience with the disorder. Dreyfus has said he is agnostic. Dreyfus and Russian-born Svetlana Orokin married in 2006 and lived in San Diego, California, although they frequently visited New York City and London, where Dreyfus once lived. They also lived in Carlsbad, California. In February 2008, they bought a $1.5 million house in Encinitas, California, and planned to renovate the 1970s structure with state-of-the-art green technologies. On June 10, 2011, Dreyfus was made a master mason, at sight, by the Grand Master of Masons of the District of Columbia at the Washington, D.C. Scottish Rite Building, as well as a 32nd-degree Scottish Rite Mason. That evening he spoke at a banquet celebrating the 200th anniversary of the Grand Lodge of the District of Columbia, about the Dreyfus Initiative, a research society promoting civics and enlightenment values to be headquartered in Charleston, West Virginia. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?